In this video we're going to take a look at expanding single brackets. Now in a GCSE exam you will be shown just one word generally when you're asked to do things with algebra. One of the words that you'll be given is expand and all that this simply means is that you need to multiply out the brackets. So here we're being asked to expand 3 bracket 2a plus 5. Now all that we have to do is take this 3 on the outside and multiply it by everything that's on the inside of the brackets. So I'm going to do 3 multiplied by 2a. That's going to give me 6a. Then I'm going to do 3 multiplied by positive 5. That's going to give me positive 15. So my expanded answer is going to be 6a plus 15. All that I've done there is I've expanded the brackets. I've multiplied out the brackets. So next example, 6 multiplied by 5a, just multiplying the number that is outside the bracket by everything inside. That's going to give me 30a. 6 multiplied by negative 9, that's going to give me an answer of negative 54. Next up, a bracket a plus 2. So I'm going to do a multiplied by a. Again, just multiplying the thing that is on the outside of the bracket by everything inside. A multiplied by a gives me a squared. A multiplied by positive 2 is going to give me positive 2a. Next up, I've got a bracket a minus b. So a multiplied by a, that gives me a squared again. A multiplied by negative b, that's going to give me negative ab. Next one, I've got 2a bracket 3a minus 2b. So slightly trickier this one. Let's multiply the numbers first. 2 multiplied by 3 gives me 6. Then a multiplied by a gives me a squared. So I also need to multiply 2a by negative 2b. So let's do that as well. So 2a multiplied by 2b, do the numbers first, 2 multiplied by 2, that's going to give me 4, then a multiplied by b, that's going to give me ab. Last one, I've got 7a bracket 3a squared minus 2b. So again, doing the numbers first, 7 times 3, that gives me 21. a multiplied by a squared, that gives me a cubed. Then Let's multiply 7a by negative 2b. Again, do the numbers first. 7 multiplied by 2 gives me 14. Then I've got a multiplied by b gives me ab. So my answer there is going to be 21a cubed minus 14ab. Okay, uh, hopefully you get the idea with these. What I suggest you do now is you pause the video, attempt these five practice questions, then press play to see the answers. So 5 bracket 3a minus 8, that's going to give us 15a minus 40. So 5 times 3a, 15a, 5 times minus 8, minus 40. Next one, 6 multiplied by 10a is going to give me 60a. 6 multiplied by negative 3 gives me negative 18. Next one, a multiplied by a gives me a squared. a multiplied by negative 4 gives me negative 4a. Next one, we've got 3a on the outside, so I'm going to do 3a multiplied by a. It gives me 3a squared. Then 3a multiplied by positive 2b. Do the numbers first, 3 times 2, that's going to give me 6. Then a multiplied by b gives me ab. Okay, last one, quite a long one, quite a tough one. We've got 5ab, so let's do the numbers first. 5 multiplied by 2, that's going to give me 10. Then I've got AB multiplied by A. So I'll do A times A, that gives me A squared. Then I've got that B as well. 5AB multiplied by negative 3B. So 5 multiplied by 3, that's going to give me minus 15. Then A, there's no A's to multiply it with, so we just keep the A. Then B multiplied by B gives us B squared. Next one, I've got 5AB multiplied by A squared. So 5, there are no numbers to multiply, so 5 multiplied by, you can think of that as 1a squared, so 5 times 1 gives us 5. Then I've got a multiplied by the a squared, that gives me a cubed. And then 
I've got no bees to multiply it with, so the bee can just stay on the end. And then, last one, I've got uh, 5ab multiplied by negative 3c. 5 multiplied by negative 3 gives me negative 15. A multiplied by, well, we haven't got any a's to multiply, we haven't got any b's to multiply, so we've just got to multiply a and b by c, so we can write it as minus 15abc.